Hi guys, hope you're all doing good. Last time we talked about if statements, or simple if statements. This time I want to talk about if, else, and else if statements. Okay, let's, let's see what those are through an example. Let's first declare a variable as a double, double x, and then let's ask the user to enter a value for that. Okay, so what we want to do is the following. If the value that the user entered, so if x equals 1, what we want to do is see out this on the screen. This is 1, okay? And let's, like I said, let's always put um, curly brackets, even if it's one statement. Okay, now this is the new part. Else if, which means if this is not true, if this is false, we move on to this part of the if statement. Now this is part of the if statement, right? It's all one if statement. So if this is true, we're going to do this. Now if this is false, we skip this and we move on to the next part of the if statement and see if that one is true. So else if x equals 2, do this. See out this is 2, right? And then close that bracket. Okay. Now, now we can do more else ifs. You can keep doing else, oops, else if, you know, x equals 3, and then do the same thing over and over again, you know. But I want to show you the else. Else is basically, you know, if it's basically a statement where if this is false and this is false, then in those cases it moves on to the else and else does not have a condition because else is basically covering every other condition other than this and that that is so if else is not one okay it goes here else if x is equal to zero if it's also not equal to two or two if it's not equal to two then it goes to here and this is where that's covered so else right here and you want it to see out this is not a 1 and it's also not a 2 okay and you close that bracket okay so here you go and remember we don't need the brackets but it's 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 better to always put them there because you can always get confused you know as to which goes in it where you know so it's always good to have them you do need them for these over here though, if you have else statements. Anyways, so always have them. So if x equals 1, this is going to happen. Else if x equals 2, this is going to happen. And else if x equals, it does not equal 1 and it does not equal 2, then this is going to happen, okay? So this is the if else, if else if else statement, right? So this whole thing is one block and only one statement can be executed you know either this or this or this well I mean you can have multiple ones executed in each block you know of course like you could have this if, if you had another statement here it would still be executed by one statement I mean you can only have one part activated either this or this or this okay so that's the if else if statement. What we can do to show you guys like what the difference between um, this and writing three different if statements for this, I'm just gonna do the do it now, like debug it right here and show you guys what happens before that. So okay, so like we said, let's take a look. Um, if it's one, it's gonna say this is one, right? X out of it, debug it again. Okay, now if it's two, it's gonna say this is two, right? It's using this part of the code right here. This is two, right? Now if it's three, if we say if we say three, it's gonna say this is not a one and it's also not a two. Now if we also say four, okay, if we say four, it's gonna do the same thing. Four. This is not a one, and it's also not a two, because we didn't specify a uh, 
you know, we didn't say if else if x equals 3, then do this. Okay, I hope this is making sense to you guys. Um, we'll talk some more about, you know, the difference between this and like writing three if statements in my next videos and we'll see that in, in examples also. So for now, just manipulate the code for this one right here. You know, if you have if, else if, else, and sometimes you don't need the else if, you, you just wanna like make if this is true, then type this or do this, and then else, do this, right? And then you move on to the rest of the code. So this is a block. The computer gets into this if block and it does whatever is necessary, right? It, choose, it, it decides which one to do, and after it does it, it just moves on to the rest of the code. And if, if there's a C out statement here, it would not be affected by the decision here. It'll just go on and it'll do it either way. Okay, so uh, if you're still confused about if statements, it's totally fine because we haven't done real examples yet. In my next videos, we're going to be doing some examples and you're going to understand it for sure. Bye.